Hey everybody, here's another Trade Skill Master tutorial brought to you by yours truly. Today I just kind of want to go through how to set up the auctioning feature. And this is the feature of Trade Skill Master that was the biggest obstacle for me. And it was primarily because I didn't want to put my auctions in something else's hands. I didn't want Trade Skill Master making decisions for me as far as the value of everything. In hindsight, it was a huge mistake waiting uh, that long to set it up, basically. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of try to walk you through it. Um, hopefully I'll be as clear as possible because it does take a little while to understand what's going on, but Trade Skill Master is run primarily by modules um, basically operations. And you have your groups, all of your item groups, stuff like that. They are useless unless they have operations. So you can see operations here for auctioning, crafting, mailing, shopping, and warehousing. What we're looking at is auctioning. And these are general options here. Um, pretty much at your discretion, you can cancel auctions with bids. Don't recommend it, because you're basically losing a sale. Um, there are invalid price warnings on some items if it's in the wrong group and stuff like that. Basically, if you're not getting the warnings, don't worry about it. Round normal price, I've never touched. Um, basically, it means instead of 25 gold, 30 silver, 50 copper, it'll just say, you know, 26 gold. Make it flat. If you're a neat freak. Um, you can do sounds, stuff like that, create macros, blah, 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 blah. What we are interested in is operations themselves. So this is the meat and potatoes, and this will basically make stuff appear in the auctioning window. What you can do is what I've done, and basic, this is pure user preference. There's no set in stone way to do this. Pure user preference. I made two operations to start with, singles and stacks. Basically my stacks were for crafting materials, like stacks of ore, stacks of whatever. And then my singles were for um, crafts, you know, the product. Um, if I was selling, you know, items, uh, armor, stuff like that. Singles and stacks, pure preference, but just to show you real quick, match stack size I've left at. I don't really deal with it. This is where the meat and potatoes is, as far as posting. And you can set your duration. Post cap basically means you're only going to post, like, say you've got 10 crafty vermilion onyx. Um, you don't want to post all 10, because you don't really want to flood the market. Um, if you're posting singles, that's a lot of stuff to pick out of the mailbox and stuff. Um, so I put a limit very conservative of three. I only want three of this item on the auction house at any time. That's mainly just courteous to other users. I don't want people to have to dig through five pages of my auctions. So here you can see singles, my stack size is one, so it's three auctions of one item. Keep quantity you can set if you want to keep a certain amount. Bid percent, self-explanatory. Um, a lot of people set it up to 100%. I like to kind of bait people into thinking they're getting a really good deal. Not really baiting. Um, I want to leave people the option to bid, basically. Undercut amount. I've wanted to do percentages, but it doesn't seem like Trade Skill Master supports it. So I left it at 10 silver, 5 copper. That's kind of like my whatever. Um, people, a lot of people, I think the default's 1 copper it makes people mad. Um, it's up to you. If you want to be that person, fine. Um, I figured 10 silver, 5 copper was easy. This is where it gets dirty. Down here, with the posting price settings. What I have is DB Market, and that is one of the price sources in uh, Trade Scale Master, World of Warcraft, etc. Some people do WoW Auction, some people do DB Market. I've found that DB Market, for me, is a little more reliable. There's not much room for error. So, basically, every item... Let's see if I can pull this up. 
every item has a minimum, normal, and max price, basically. And what that means is the minimum that it's been seen on the auction house, in this case 54 gold, normal it goes for 108, the maximum absolutely most expensive is 181. So basically you are setting those three price ranges in here. So minimum price, you don't want it to be like 10% or else all of your stuff's going to show up on you know the sniper in the auction house. I set it at 60%. Um, still want to have some competition, but you got to remember if you set it too low, you're going to end up losing gold. Maximum, absolute maximum, 200% DB market. I rarely hit this. It happens, but normal price, I have it set just a little bit above. Um, and if you uh, are trying to post an item that is below the minimum price that you've set here, you can choose to do a bunch of different things, post it, don't post it. I have it as don't post items. It clogs up the bags, but I just, I don't want to spend the gold, basically, on listing items that might never even see um, you know, a normal or maximum or even the minimum price. And when above maximum, and people do this a lot, uh, I have it set to post at the normal price. I don't like to rob people. Um, I like to sell stuff because that makes gold. And if you're buying everything and you s try to sell it at 400%, I mean, you might get one person who gets suckered into it, but like I said, I like to play the good guy. I don't like to basically rob people. <laughs> so once you get all of this set, make sure also that you press enter after everyone. Like if you change it, you'll see the OK button go ahead and press it or else none of the settings save. And as you can see here, this window shows up and it just kind of guides you along uh, different ways to basically input prices. Um, it's definitely more advanced. Like I said, this is very bare bones. This is not Donald Trump stuff. This is just very, very, very bare bones. It gets the job done. So once you have the hang of how to do that, you can go through and you can do the same thing for other uh, operations. You can see these are my stacks, stack size 20, post cap 50, much higher than my singles. And there's also a cancel setting which um, I can kind of go through really quick. You can cancel your undercut auctions. Some like to cancel to repost higher. I don't, I just like to leave it. Um, but once you get your operations set up, go ahead over here, you can go back to your groups and say we're going to go into professions for my alchemist materials. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be stacks. Go over here to the operations tab. And what I always do, just to be quadruply sure, is I always override the auction, uh, the module operations, and then what you do, you go through and you select the operation that you created for auctioning, and now it's applied to this group. And you can do the same thing, you can see for other things. Let's just show you real quick. And we'll go through shopping operations probably in a in a different video, but this is the really easy way to attach auctioning um, operations to your trade skill master groups. So you can see have all sorts of goodies. We have singles attached. Just kind of walking you through it now. Uh, same thing for my transmog groups because I'm usually doing armor and weapons and stuff, so singles. Um, that's pretty much my uh, very quick, well, I wouldn't call it quick, but in-depth way to set up auctioning operations for Trade Skill Master. And you can see once you have auctioning operations set up on your groups, you can go through, you can be very picky or not picky, deselect, select all. Um, 
select these groups and then when you start a post scan it'll go through and basically show you all of your auctions that can be listed and you can go ahead and post them all. So thanks for checking out my Trade Skill Master tutorial for World of Warcraft. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have questions, comments, whatever, leave them on the video and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. Till next time.